Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Zach here. Um, today is actually Thanksgiving and this video will drop the day after, so Black Friday. Um, and we'll kick off the Christmas season here in Medellin. Uh, unfortunately, this year I am not coming home for the holidays. So I will be stuck here. Well, not stuck here. It was by choice to be in Medellin. Um, I'm actually really excited about it. It's my first Christmas season here. But at the same time, on days like Thanksgiving, when you're supposed to be with family, I do miss my family. So um, I'm gonna try to do a couple Thanksgiving traditions with a little Colombian twist on them today, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So if you're watching this, I hope you had a Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving with your family, your friends, whoever else you might've been with. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. I do wanna say I am thankful for all you guys who have followed me. This has been a fun thing to do and you guys have been really receptive to the channel, so. So one of the things that historically uh, I had as a kid was we would eat breakfast at my stepmom's family's on Thanksgiving. They did a Secret Santa and all that stuff too, which we're not gonna do today, but I am gonna treat myself to a baller breakfast. So the place we're going is Cafe Revolucion. Um, this place is definitely more a tourist thing. A lot of gringos go there. Um, Staff's pretty well versed in English, but it's still pretty reasonable. We're gonna chat on on some Thanksgiving breakfast. All right, so again, this was usually what we did. We would have breakfast and it was quiche. Now you can't really find quiche here, but I do have breakfast tacos at Cafe Revolucion, which are quickly becoming my favorite thing. It's an addiction. It's like a whole thing. Bon appetit, baby. As you guys can see, it's just an egg, cheese, and bacon, but man, it's, I don't know what they put in it, but man, it's so good. Man, when I tell you I just ate my full, man, I am so, so full. Um, yeah, Cafe Revolucion is incredible. Um, they have probably the best breakfast. I've never ate there for lunch or dinner, uh, though I think they have those services. It's just not something that I normally go there for, but you know, kinda want some coffee. And so I think I'm gonna go see my Colombian family and spend some time with them. Uh, my buddy Freddie, his wife Francie, if she's that shop. And yeah, so getting the family time in, though it's the Colombian side. So even though it's like a smaller place, I've had a lot of really good memories in this place. Uh, I've met a lot of friends through this little corner shop. Um, I'm actually really thankful for it because at the end of the day, like Freddie obviously is one of my best friends, but um, you know, I've met some other, uh, some other friends through here and watched a lot of soccer matches. You guys can hear the plane going up ahead. But, um, yeah, there's a, there's a great little place to hang out. Like, if you want to be part of the community, man, like, hang out at these corner shops. Just try to get to know people, do whatever. It's a really good time, and Freddie, of course, is awesome, and their family has always been really hospitable towards me. All right, so we saw Freddie, but we got to go see his wife, Francie, and uh, we're going to go get our nails done and patron their business, too. Yeah. Hola, estamos en Avanti Spa. Te esperamos para ofrecerte los mejores servicios. Eh, todo relacionado con uñas, pestañas, cejas. Eh, en, estamos en San Joaquín, circular 6, número 66B, 56. Te esperamos. So if you guys want to know what it's like to shoot these videos, Francie has to fix herself like 500 times. Es que chita. Ooh, we got the shine. And now the real work begins. Oh, yeah. Never felt more manly. <laughs> Alright, so we saw friends that are like family, which we will continue that tradition later today. But as we all know, Thanksgiving's not about getting your nails done and seeing your family and potentially fighting with them if you come from my household. Uh, but it is about stuffing your face with food. And so one of the things we're gonna do now is go eat uh, something pretty damn traditional, not for the United States, but for um, Colombia. 
And so I'm really excited because I'm kind of hungry again. All right, we're gonna start with some nachos here at uh, La Tienda de la Setenta y ya. Uh, and it looks like guacamole, um, pretty good. So we are in La Tienda de la Setenta, which is on La Setenta, which you guys have seen in some other videos that I've had. Um, I wouldn't say it's traditional Colombian. It's definitely touristy, as you guys can kind of see behind me in some of the shots that I'm gonna show. But it's a great place to go, like if, especially if you're new in the city and you wanna try some Colombian cuisine. I think it's nicer than Mondongo's. It's got a better atmosphere. And at nighttime, it turns into a bar with a dance floor. And sometimes they even have live music. So um, it's a good place to be. And uh, even though I'm eating solo tonight and I'm not smashing down on grandma's stuff, uh, I'm excited to have it. Now that said, like some of my holiday traditions, especially at Grandma Connie's house, like Grandma Connie was primarily the person that had, um, Grandma Connie primarily had lunches while Grandma Pat usually did dinners, mainly because like I came from divorced parents, it's a whole thing. But, um, you know, we'd go to lunch at Grandma Connie's and then like later we'd get pizza and wings with Grandma Pat like a couple of days after Thanksgiving. If it was on the holiday, usually we did, we did dinners out at the farm um, out in Ohio. So that was always something cool and it's kind of something that I'm missing today, especially because my cousins are in town. So if you guys are watching this, I hope you guys are having a happy Thanksgiving or had a happy Thanksgiving by the time I send you this. And uh, yeah, I do miss and I love you guys very much. Um, I've got a new niece for my followers. She's awesome. Uh, excited to see her uh, when I do get back to Ohio, even though I'll be spending the holiday season here. Um, but yeah, those were some of the traditions. And then, I mean, you know, usual family drama sometimes too. And you, know, you have that. And, it's just like a great place. And so, you know, today I got to FaceTime my grandma and my mom and that was kind of great. Like, I think one of the things you don't realize when you live in another country is that you make trade-offs, right? Like I love Colombia. I love living here. I'm going to continue to live here. And Medellin is an incredible city, but it doesn't have my family. And that kind of sucks sometimes uh, being on another continent, but you know, I, I have FaceTime people when I can. I talked to my mom today, introduced her to Freddie and Francie, who you guys met. And yeah, it was just like, you know, it's, you make the best of it. So uh, that said, I'm about to stuff my face and show you guys what I'm eating in addition to the nachos I just had. All right, so we've got Bandeja Paisa. So we've got chincharron, which is amazing. Uh, looks like plantains here. Egg, rice, potatoes, uh, Aguacate, which is guacamole, I need a minute. Ground up meat and sausage. I'm telling you, and beans. So I'm telling you guys, this is the shit. It's definitely a more Colombian traditional dish. And while it's not turkey, mashed potatoes, and my grandma's noodles or grandma cookies, like, it's pretty damn good. About to smash. We gotta get some of this meat in here too. Chincharron, by the way, is the shit. It's basically like this, I don't know, it's like fat fat bacon kind of. I don't know, you guys can't really see me. I'm, I don't have my stand with me. But uh, bon appetit and happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. Oh my God, it's so good. So Colombians don't use a lot of spices in their food, but this doesn't need it the beans and the rice and the egg yolk and all that kind of go together so you don't need it and then you add the meat to boot and I'm telling you man Colombia food is incredible a lot of people think it's kind of bland I don't I think that it's um, I don't find it really bland I find it more um, like it's complimentary they mix a lot of their stuff up and then when you eat it, it, it all kind of comes together. Especially because there's like a lot of rice, beans, whatever. I feel like I'm crouching in this video. And I don't even know if you guys can hear me with the music in the back. But um, I would highly recommend Bandeja Paisa. It's so good. I'm gonna smash this like a million calories. I don't even care. Let's get it. Guys, when I tell you chincharron is the shit, it is the shit. It is the best pork product you can eat. By the way, those weren't potatoes. Those were arepas, which I don't get the hype. I know that living in Colombia and saying you don't like arepas is kind of a no-no, but it's pretty damn good. Look at that. Mm, you know you want it. Come to Colombia for the food. 
that was so much food. And now I'm gonna embrace the noblest of Thanksgiving traditions and take a post food nap. All right, so one of the things about Thanksgiving is we go around the table and we say what we're thankful for in the United States. Now, since I'm not in the United States with my family, I thought it'd be cool to talk to my coworkers today and see what they're thankful for and celebrate Thanksgiving with them. Okay, I'm Chang. I'm thankful for all of my friends, for my work, for all the challenges I have, I've had this year. Awesome. Especially yo. Ah. Yeah. I'm thankful for I had my first okay. job after graduation. I'm thankful for the fact that I got to see my family and my friends and the I achieved one of my biggest goals. I finally got my puppy. I had a cow. Her name is Mu, and I'm really, really, really glad and thankful for her. Awesome. I'm thankful for all the help that my family has, and also all the people that I met this year, my friends, my boyfriend, and that all that people is here. I'm thankful because my family is all alive and I am healthy. Hell yeah, dude. Two. <laughs> Perfect. I'm thankful for to be new people, just like your brother, and for everything, man. This life, have healthy, and um, what can I do? What 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 else can I ask? Hi. I'm thankful for being able to make new people have new experience and challenges in the profession of you and to meet Shakari. Obvio. Hi, I'm thankful for having a job related with my career and for having a lot of challenges during this year. Fun. I'm thankful for probably for National Wins tomorrow uh, about the car. <laughs> es una mentira. <laughs> Hi, this is Irene. Well, I, I'm very glad to be here. I'm thanks to, to be part of this team and to know Sakurai too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful that I get to work in something that I love to do. This year, I'm thankful for my new dog. Hello, I'm thankful this year because my brother's graduation is on December. He's graduating from the Air Force pilot, military pilot. So I'm really proud, really thankful, and I think that it's going to be a really great time for us as a family. I'm thankful for my family, my friends, the cool people that I have met this year, and the opportunities that I get to experience. <laughs> When I say that that Bandeja Paisa gave me the best power nap that I think I've ever had, it really did. I slept for three hours. So um, we have one last Thanksgiving tradition left, and that, of course, is football americano, or just regular football if you're from the United States. So I'm about to head over to my buddy's place, watch some football with some Americans, have a great time, and yeah. So my buddy's bar is actually in Parque Lleras, which you can see behind me with the cool Medellin sign. And uh, we're going to go watch football there and have Friendsgiving. So I'm actually here at Gringo Loco with my boy Greg. Yo! My guy. And uh, this bar is awesome. You guys got to check it out, especially if you're in town. They got American football. Tonight we watched Nassie and Al win. But uh, Greg's going to tell you a little bit more about the place. Yeah, absolutely. This is Gringo Loco. We open up in September. It's all about having fun, high energy, positivity, making connections, making friends. And we got a great happy hours from 10 p.m. until 12 p.m. every day where ladies drink unlimited beer for 20,000 pesos and for guys it's 50,000. I'm going to do the math on that for you guys thinking about coming to visit here. It's about 20,000 is about five bucks American. And for all men, you can drink. all you can drink. And 50000 for men's, like, depends on the day, but between 10 and $12. Definitely check this place out. I'll show you guys some scenes. Greg's the man, too. Gringo Loco! Hey, nacionalista. Nacional no es lista. Verdayo, para siempre. No, 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 me yo no. Nacional es mejor. Velo, vea, velo, 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 vea. All right, if, if, if Nacional hits this, they win Copa Colombia. 